Hello, everyone. Uh, as mentioned, uh, I'm Zach. Uh, you can find me pretty much everywhere at Styza. And I am one of several people working on the integration between NPM and Sigstore uh, so that NPM packages contain verifiable links back to their source code and also their build instructions. As we've undertaken this work, there's a couple of issues we've uncovered uh, with OIDC tokens. Uh, so I'm here to talk about uh, some of those uh, things to be aware of as you work with uh, OIDC JWTs, um, as well as uh, point out some problems uh, and in at least one case, uh, suggest some possible solutions. I think that lots of people in this room know this better than I do, uh, but just to kind of zoom into the one specific part that we're talking about in the uh, six store ecosystem, uh, this is the so-called keyless signing flow. Um, so you're in a cloud CI CD system, you're building your NPM package, uh, and then in order to get your signing certificate from Fulcio, uh, you call cosign sign, uh, you include uh, the OIDC JWT from your CI CD system. Uh, and then Fulcio looks at those attributes, burns it into the signing certificate, which it returns to you, and then you can attest to those uh, build properties. Um, so, in particular, here we're talking about the OIDC JWT that comes from the cloud CI CD builder that you send to Fulcio. So, what does that look like? Uh, I was actually scooped by uh, other Zach from Sigstore. I think he was the first one to put the, uh, uh, the OIDC JWTs up. Uh, this particular example is uh, from uh, GitHub, uh, but it's important to note that uh, our implementation in NPM is going to work with any uh, cloud CICD provider um, that supports uh, OIDC JWTs and has uh, specific uh, properties. Um, there's a, a link on here to the uh, GitHub docs. I should have posted a link to these uh, slides. Uh, if you go to uh, coffeehousecoders.org, uh, I've uh, linked the slides there as well. And I'll put them in Slack after this talk. There's a number of attributes on the left that Fulcio is already looking at that we're gonna talk about in more detail. Uh, and then I've added some additional attributes on the right. Uh, in the different providers, these fields have different names but we're hoping uh, to work with all cloud CICD providers to provide this information in one form or another. Uh, so the first security consideration I wanna talk about is data privacy. Uh, this is a very tricky one. So first of all, just to highlight, there's some things in here that you might consider PII. Of course, if you're part of an open source project, uh, this information is probably already uh, in your public source repository, so it might not be considered that sensitive. Um, but some governments are talking about uh, a right to be forgotten that we'll uh, come back to in a second. Uh, so I just wanted to highlight here the name of your branch, um, the name of your account, the name of your repository, uh, the name of your build workflow, and also the name of the file of the build workflow. And so, less so for open source, but maybe if you're using this for an inner source or other sort of like enterprise application, you wanna be uh, careful about you know, sending this information to public servers. Other people will be able to see it. Um, it's not exactly clear what a right to be forgotten means in this context. Certainly people are voluntarily uh, sending this information uh, to Fulcio, um, but then in the future, if they don't want this information to be publicly available, it's not exactly clear what that would look like. And so I think that's gonna be an ongoing conversation in the, in the community, how we might uh, support or handle those uh, types of requests. Uh, the second consideration uh, is a custom audience. Uh, Sigstore is doing a great job here, 10 out of 10. Uh, when customers, or when people are provisioning these OIDC tokens in their uh, cloud uh, provider, uh, we wanna ensure that they are doing so with a custom audience. This is so that uh, we, you can't uh, use a token from one compromise system to another one uh, if someone was able to uh, compromise one of the systems that's receiving these uh, YDC tokens. Uh, the Cosign already handles this uh, for you uh, if, you, if you're using the, the workflow instructions. Uh, it will, it will create, call uh, into the APIs to ensure that that custom audience is there. Um, but if you're, if you're operating a cloud CI CD provider, be sure to allow people to do this customization. And then if you're building some sort of integration, ensure that you're using some sort of unique string uh, so that people can't take a, a token and port it onto uh, another service. 
And then the last issue I don't have a great solution for. So in addition to having the repository name or the organization name, those resources can actually change. Maybe a company gets acquired. Uh, maybe a personal project becomes a company project. Maybe someone just decides they don't want something to be open source anymore and they delete it. Uh, so the way this is uh, being handled currently in the uh, GitHub OIDC token is that in addition to including the repository and the repository owner, we also include these fields, repository ID and repository owner ID. And if the resource is deleted or renamed or otherwise recreated, uh, we guarantee that this value will change. Uh, what exactly we do with these values, uh, it's not clear yet. Uh, Fulcio uh, isn't looking for this information yet. Arguably, this isn't something that Sigstore should have to solve. Maybe this is something that um, package managers should consider as they're accepting these signing certificates. Uh, and I would like to discourage us from saying that end users should handle it. Uh, I think that uh, they probably already have enough to, to worry about. It'd be nice if we could do something that more, transparency, more transparently let people know uh, when an underlying resource that an attestation points at changes. Uh, and that's really it. Uh, those are uh, three consider security considerations for uh, thinking about as you work with OIDC tokens. Thanks, everyone.